record it when we first applied for the program. We realised we had 22 separate projects running within the college that were STEM related. We do uh, mechatronics, engineering, woodwork, metalwork, a uh, bit of mechanics. The TDS gave us an opportunity to consolidate, bring it together and then start to investigate how can we share this across the whole of the college so that every learning area can be part of it. As a STEM school we're also trying to train up other schools and expert teachers in the area. Other school teachers come in and we share our knowledge with them, they share their knowledge and methods with us. The challenge in such a big school is to get everyone on the same page and that's communication, that's sharing, that's collaboration, that's opportunity to engage, providing opportunity for staff to actually play and have a go, feel comfortable, share. We're also involved in many competitions, so we've got the electric vehicle challenge, subs in schools, Lego robotics. It's good to see it from where it starts to where it finishes. The kids are excited because it's not the projects we're doing, it's pretty much what would you like to make to solve this problem. That's what we want, you know, the learning is in the designing and the building, the competition's just the cherry on top, so <laughs> yeah, it's good fun. Ready to go? Yeah, good. There's a huge deficit of girls in STEM and so we're working real hard to try figure out ways to engage them. We've done some gender diversity training. Through that training we've come up with the idea of having a mentor program so the girls can see other girls doing it, then they can be what they see. To like think of the idea and design it and for it to actually work it's pretty good. Like you've done something that you're proud of. Partnerships that we're starting to build, we're working with SciTech, you know, we're working in the TDS program. We're actually producing stuff where we can go out to industry and say this is what we've got, this is what our students learned, how can we change what our students learn to better suit what you as an industry leader need. I've actually had a couple of companies turn around and say well who are these kids? We want them. A girl who finished school last year has actually got into industry now because of her CAD skills. It's her thing now. She found her niche and she took off. STEM has been flagged as a new area of focus that will work across the, the high school and the, the four primary schools. And so the students will come through with a common language, a common understanding. They, they will come to us pre-prepared. I really believe in STEM and where STEM's pushing students and schools as well on the curriculum. I have students here an hour and a half after school and they're into it. We want to be looking to do what we need to do to get the best outcomes for our kids and give them a real career pathway.